Welcome out to South Park, Colorado. I'm Caleb Burgraff, Sports Director for Heart of the Rockies Radio, and Kyle Graff sitting over to my right, the Athletic Director here. And second year for you as the AD and Activities Director. Let's just go ahead and throw that in there. As uh, you guys are a lot busier than just an athletic director would be. Yeah, I'm also the K-12 Dean of Students. So. Uh, okay. So Keep you busy up here. Busy days. <laughs> now, uh, second year for you, kind of getting uh, a little bit of a flow, a rhythm going into this year for, for the position? Well, I feel like we've come a long ways in a year, uh, in a year and a half, uh, or however long I've been on, on a job, just because I feel like we've got some things in place. Um, we've got great coaches. Um, Kids are buying in. Um, I loved it when one of our kids walked up to me and said, I'm so glad you're here because now we're doing things the right way, which um, is the best compliment I could get from any of them because that's what I want is for us to do things the right way, um, work hard, get kids involved. Uh, and uh, You know, we only have a limited number of kids and students, and we can only do a limited number of sports. But uh, the ones we do, I want to do it at, a, at an excellent level. Well, and that is a huge perk when you have that, and not just a a couple of kids, but really, I mean, classes. I mean, you you talk about South Park, it's not going to bring massive classes to the side of the table in high school, but when you look at it and you have 60% of one class and and 50% of another class, and and, and even at 70 of some and 40 of others, but you still have good participation numbers. You're not getting in one class or two classes. I think we have 130 kids in the high school approximately in this fall. We have 100 and not 100, but we have um, 70, 75. Mm -hmm. I don't know the final count. We're just in our second week. We picked up a couple more yesterday. But if we can be about 50, 60 percent of our students participating, Mm -hmm. that creates a better environment for us all around in the classroom, in the Mm -hmm. school. I mean, it's just it's really good. Well, and that's not just athletics. That's also talking a little bit about the the other activities, the band, the choir, the drama. We have all those things, too. Yeah. And uh for a small, and we have a beautiful facility. I mean, oh man, it's gorgeous here. You just look out the window, or you just look out at our, our facility. is is pretty state of the art, brand new. We have a you know a turf, football field, and all weather track. We have three gyms. Um, people love to come from our size school to play things like ball. We have a volleyball scrimmage here Friday. Mm-hmm. And the reason we're having it is here is because we have the two nice gyms, and most of our schools in our class have one gym. And, takes forever to get those done. <laughs> so it's good to have that. Um, so those things all help. I mean, and then this year we did a branding project, which is kind of a new thing for me, where um, you can see the shirt I have on and the shirt that and kids wear them all the time. Is they are proud to be a borough and proud to be South Park. Mm-hmm. Uh, like if you look good, you play good. That's kind of our motto. And so we've improved on our uniforms. We've improved on our equipment. We've improved on our leadership uh, our coaches are buying in and um, we're i'm excited about the future you know i'm kind of at the end of this time of my life to be working and it's a great place for me to finish my career well and and you you had a perfect segue there right into the sports themselves i think some pretty exciting times for for both volleyball and football coming up this spring Football, uh, you, you have a very good returning player that's going to be a big leader on that team and Michael Kelly, but also a lot of youth on that team. Um, and I think a, a bit of hunger. The last two seasons, the 17th team, the, the one that missed has been South Park. Right. And I think there's a little bit of hunger right now coming from this team. Right. I'm so, you saw Michael when you walked in today. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I'm so impressed with his leadership and a couple other seniors, um, John O'Donnell and Preston Ailey. And, and I just really believe that uh, – we are at that brink where I think in our league this year will be maybe the top team, one of the top teams. So our non-conference schedule is very difficult. We've got Sirocco mm-hmm. and uh, Kalichi's coming up here. Haxton's coming up here. Play Del North. Those four games, win or lose, are going to help our RPI because we're trying to keep away from being that 17 team. I mean, if we mm-hmm. win our league, automatically. But, uh, but yeah, we're going to compete, and um, I think we're at that point now where – we didn't feel like we could compete. When I got here, I felt like it was this, well, we'll be okay. We'll just do it for fun. Now I feel like there's a real feeling that they can compete to be good. Well, and you look at the games this year for football, we'll have five of them coming from Heart of the Rockies Radio. I believe two on Facebook Live. The other three uh, will be up there on uh, on the radio for Eagle Country 104. So be sure to keep a tune in for those. But we're also going to have a volleyball match coming up on Facebook Live October 17th. Uh, 
Cotopax ended up moving one of their games. You guys had a game on that day, so we slid in South Park Volleyball for that one. And uh, nice. it, that. that is going to end up being a game against Del Norte, the final home game, so senior day for the girls. Nice. And and uh, Volleyball this year lost some of the talent from that team. Uh, you, a lot of seniors on the girls' team. We lost this our year. seniors and our coach. Yeah. So. So volleyball is going to be some questions, but I think that also brings some excitement into it as well because when you lose that 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 big class, you also have some openings and some kids maybe want to try and step into those holes. And, you know, we're led by a really good junior class, and we have one senior, Piper Davis, who's doing a great job. But then, then we we have a great junior class, and our and t- sometimes you change coaching staffs, and you're mm-hmm. worried, you're always worried about that because we had a great coach, and she just retired, and so. Our assistant coach has stepped in, Debbie Davis, into that head role, and is awesome. And uh, kind of changed our, our, I don't know how to say it, but changed the environment in the, in the mm-hmm. gym. They just seem to be having more fun. They just seem to be really excited. They come in here and tell me how excited they are. And uh, I think that uh, you watch. They might surprise some people. I think this is going to be a fun year for South Park Athletics. I think they're one of the, a couple of small schools that are really going to have some good years. I think Cotopaxi, you guys have some of those scrimmages with, which I think is only going to help as well. Uh, they're coming up here for that volleyball scrimmage on the right, on, they'll on be Friday, Friday as well. We have them, and then Saturday we have um, Custer yep. and Fowler for football, mm-hmm. and that'll be a good scrimmage here. So this will be a fun weekend just to kind of see where we're at because, you know, two weeks of practice and the summer stuff we've – we did it. had a great summer. I mean, our coaches did more with the kids this summer. And that comes from um, my superintendent and principal and myself just being veteran coaches saying, look, we have to work at this. Mm-hmm. We can't just be show up the first day. So our coaches have done a good job of spending some of the summer with the kids. And, and uh, some of them have bought in. There are numbers have been a little better with that. That'll start to grow as we start to win. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a tough – Tough eight man football, you know, it's apples to apples. Mm-hmm. And same with volleyball and same with basketball and same with track. When you get to two A's competition, it's good competition for small schools. And we don't have as big as some, we're bigger than some, we're smaller than some, and we don't make excuses for that because we live in the prettiest place in Colorado. So Absolutely. Well, I'm looking forward to coming up here for some games. Kyle? Kyle, thanks a lot for coming, and thanks for uh, all you've done for covering us because people don't even know we're from some fair play. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Thank you, man. No, that was perfect.